Hi everyone, it's Rack from Rack Plays, and today we're doing another video. Now, um, if you guys remember back, you know, like when I saw our first time on my YouTube channel or something, I used, I used to do a lot of build a figure unboxings and stuff. And you'll read, and um, well, we're back. We're back with another uh, unboxing video. Now, it's going to be another, another Marvel Legends figures. It's not the Dragon Stars Wave, it's another Marvel Legends. Um, and it's actually a surprise that my dad found all these in a store. He, he did pre-order them, but he found them all in a store, so I thought, why not get them all? He actually got the, um, um, the Avengers Endgame uh, uh, Build-A-Figure number 2, which is the Smart Hulk. You know, like, from the movie, the, the Hulk turns, spoiler warning, I guess, like, you know, I'm sure everyone's seen Avengers Endgame right now, so, you know, like, Hulk's turn smart in the movie, you know, like, yeah, he's both smart and strong. He's the brains and the bronze. This is basically Hulk as the brains and the bronze. Now he looks very cool. Like I mean, he still just does just look like the regular Hulk, but with different faces. My parents said he should have been wearing that shirt. He like he was wearing a shirt in the movie. He made a joke saying, "It's funny, I'm wearing a shirt now." <laughs> he should have worn the shirt, but I still think it looks cool anyway. I, I like him, but you know, like it looks good. Now the now the little figure has um. Si uh, there's seven figures in all, with you know one figure not containing a piece, just like the first build a figure of Avengers. Also, next week is going to be the Spider Man. Now I said you know, like there's gonna be a Spider Man part for one build a figure in Avengers Endgame. I thought I began Spider Man first, but Spider Man's actually going to be next week. But that or them all is going to be coming. I actually already got two figures. So I'm not gonna show. You, I'm not gonna show you them yet. I got two figures today from the mail, but I'm not gonna show you them yet because I'm not gonna show you them yet because next week's going to be the big um going to be the big, big time where I um reveal it um. Where I have reviewed the uh, Spider-Man build figure But enough talk about that. Anyway, let's do the Avengers the Avengers Endgame build figure number two, which is known as Hulk. Build figure is just known as Hulk, but you know, it's basically like, uh, I, forgot what, I, forgot, I forgot what it was really called. Like, I don't, oh, I remember the Intelligent Hulk. His name, it says build figure Hulk on it, on the box, but like, uh, his real name is the Intelligent Hulk. Sorry if I called him Smart Hulk, I just couldn't remember. Anyway, um, but yeah, a lot of good figures, and yeah, so let's get started. Um, the, the figure who doesn't come with a piece will be last, so let's start off with them. Um, first one will be is Shuri. Shuri is basically the, uh, the, you know, the Black Panther's sister, I believe. Uh, and this is her. You know, she was from Avengers Endgame. Also, Infinity War and Black Panther, the movie. This is actually her first time, I believe, as a figure. Oops, sorry. But here's Shuri. She comes with a, a little uh, Black Panther claw like she did in like Infinity War, I believe. The little blaster. She also comes with another one that's unattached to her hand for some reason. This is the only extra piece. She comes with no extra hands. Um, it should it should easily sort of snap in there. There. Now she has both. Now Sherry, as you can tell, looks uh, very good and detailed. I know like. I don't know how you guys can see much in the light, but I've been, you know, the design looks very good. They did a great job. She looks like how, just how she was in the movie. I remember there was like a two pack with Sherry and Claw, but that Sherry was wearing the Black Panther suit. This one's more of the. This one's actually mm -hmm. from the movie. I don't know if I have that pack. I don't think so. But yeah, this is a brand new figure they released. And yeah, she comes with. See, this is, this is the whole packaging with her. Here's the Hulk leg. This is Hulk's. Well, for Hulk, his left leg, as you can tell. So yeah, Intelligent Hulk's left leg, which is sort of like also looks pretty detailed, but it's just a leg. So let's let's move on. Next figure I want to do is Loki. Now this is not the Loki from the movie. This is like comic book Loki. So the, all of you guys who are fans of the Marvel comics, this is comic book Loki. Just like my dad's a big fan of the Marvel comics. Um, he looks very good. Oops, sorry. Like his hair is sort of sticking a little out. Or, or, or. I never read the comics, so I don't know much about this Loki other than that. He's Loki. Pretty easy to get his hair off, don't worry. <laughs> oops, oops. Also, he comes with, just like Shuri with the little arm, he comes with a sword. So, like, in, I guess instead of whatever weapons or stuff he uses in the movies, he has a sword. I don't know if he has a sword in the movie or any movie. Anyway, here it is though. Here's Loki. Um, like here's his um sword. 
the pretty interesting. It's pretty cool sword. It reminds me of like uh, stuff from other shows or something. But like here's Loki. He looks very cool. He has a v very big villainous smile. They did some great detail. I never saw what he looks like from the comics. Just a little. I don't know, like. I don't know what this is, but it moves a bit. Like his neck pad or something. I don't know what what it is. But yeah. Um. But yeah, it's good. He also comes with the other leg of the Hulk and nothing else. Hulk's is Hulk's right leg. Same type of design, sort of. Next figure is going to be, uh... I think, I don't really know how to pronounce this guy's name, but... I think, I don't know, better, Bay Ray or something? Bay Ray Bill? I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but he like, he's like another version of Thor, I believe. I see him a lot. He's not uh, that Loki, I think. I don't know if it's like a first time making him. This figure has been made multiple times. He actually comes with two heads of the Hulk. Of the Hulk. So, um, he comes with a mean head and a smiley head. I, I like the smiley head more. His cape door is stuck in there. I think it can Oh yeah, cape can come off. Don't worry, it can, like. It's not attached. <clears throat> there we go. His cape. Now put on. The amount of detail in these figures are actually very good. There he goes. Cape goes back on. Um, they did some pretty good designs on him too. I think even his mouth moves. Yep, his mouth moves. Here's um, his uh, hammer. I think it was called Windbreaker or something. Hammer did a good job on. This figure has pretty good detail to it. I'll admit that. All these figures so far are pretty good detail. Because it's kind of hard to always to get the figures on or the pieces on. The Loki was never hard, but like the the Victor, this guy. Hard. Oh, actually, it was not that hard to be honest. Oops, what did I just drop? Oh, that's his hand. He doesn't come with extra hands, does he? No, he doesn't. These figures don't actually come with like big extra hands, like you know, like the Dragon Wave Legends, who always come with extra hands. Here it is, though. His hammer is, uh, I think his fingers will, his hands will lose. I'm not even my fault, though. Don't worry, it's not broken. But as I say, I'm holding Windbreaker. He looks very cool. They did a great paint job on him. Great armor looks. Pretty shiny. Oh, it's great articulation. Yeah. Here are the Hulk heads or something. The first Hulk head. Oops. Sorry. First Hulk head is the, uh, it's like a mean head, sort of. Like he's angry or something. There's no face where he's like yelling like usual, but... There. Second one is his um his smiley face. I still like his smiley face a bit more, but it's I don't know what do you guys think of it. Both heads look pretty good, look exactly the same, just with the facial expressions. The guy we're gonna do is um this guy who's called Union Jack. I have no idea this who this guy is called, but apparently he's not like an original figure they just did. Um just like uh, just like this guy, it's, I guess it's like a I don't know if they did him in other baby figure packs before. But his description reads, you and Jack is a British operative spy and master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, combat in the world of European politics. I think. I think I think that's what it says. Something like that. Yeah. He would, I don't know why they decided to do this guy or the other one. Because they, they weren't even in the movie. Like they probably could have done more six, six inches figures. Even though they already did that. But they could have done like... Other ones, like maybe one of the Amazon Minions or something. He comes with a knife. Now, this is actually a figure that comes with extra pieces. Only two, though. He came with a knife and a gun. And here he is. This is, um, Union Jack. He looks pretty cool. Um, let's, he also comes with little slots to put his weapons in, but let's try to see if we can just put his weapons in right now.
Here's the sort of like knife at hand, and yeah. I want to really describe. He looks pretty cool. He has like a mean expression, good paint job, but still. I don't really know the guy. Here's, he comes with the uh, Hulk's right, um, I think it's, yeah, it's his right hand. Fist clenched. Good muscle job, like he's very angry. It looks like he's very angry, which is cool. Like a mean scene. So here's another figure. After this figure, there's only two more. Well, technically one with the other Hulk one. And also like the uh, the figure that's come with the piece. This guy is called Rock Python. He's also a new guy. No idea who this guy is. He looks like a villain. A mercenary working out of Africa. Um, he apparently uh, this this guy adopts the name Rock Python and joins the slithering villain enterprise known as Serpent Society. Oh, I've heard of Serpent. Oh, uh, I have another figure of Serpent Society, the Serpent King. I forgot what figure that was from. I think it was from the original Infi Infinity War Builder figure. But I guess this guy's like a mercenary for that team. Not going with any extra pieces, even though it's handsome, but it can hold a gun or something. Here he is. Um, I like, I actually like this guy a lot too. He they did a good paint job, like on his body. You can sort of see like a snake. He has like a really crazy head. So I guess I don't know. I guess proves like he works for this weird. I've never heard of the Serpent Society, so I don't know about much about them. But yeah, also yeah, I do. I do really like Union Jack. Um. He comes with the other arms, obviously the next figure should come with the body. So it comes with the left hand, which is not a fist, like a grabbing thing. So cool, one is hands a fist, one is a grabbing thing. So we've done almost all the figures, only two more left. Here's, here's, now this figure is actually, um, I believe, sure the most, uh, the first figure I got, the one I really, the first figure I got, my dad, my dad got it from GameStop, is a figure that is probably the most wanted, I especially want it too. This is also a figure from the endgame, it's a brand new one. It's Rescue! You guys remember in the end of the, in the final endgame war, Pepper Potts, Iron Man's wife, basically comes in as as, as the rescue. The, basically, she's basically a female Iron Man. She comes with the body, um, and she, look, she looks pretty cool actually, got that they did a great job on her. Like, they, they, didn't, they, they didn't look like they missed any detail at all. <coughs> also, here's her, I uh, like, I don't know, you, you could say it's like a back bling, but it's mostly just a backpack. Like that thing before, right? Oh. Oh, she actually has two, actually. She has two back wings. Or backpack. She has, um, one where, like, it's sort of closed and one where it's open. I don't know about you, but I like the open one a lot more. Here she is. Um, she looks like they did a great job on her. She looks just like the movie or probably like how any typical Iron Man character would look. Looks pretty good. I'll put both on, see what you guys think. Here's her, here's her first one, where with the flying one, I really like this one. And the, uh, the second one is just, the second one actually says, Re Rescue 0043, so it actually says something. I might, I, might, I, might, I might like this one more. This one I might like a little bit more. Actually, no, I definitely like this one a bit more. We'll put it on later, though. Actually, I'll just put it on now. Actually, I think it'll be better later. I'll do it after, after the video. He comes with Hulk's body, though. Here's Hulk's body. He has a little hair on his body. It doesn't matter. Well, that's it's little pant hair, if you can see it, sort of. You can just barely see it, but I think you can see it a bit. And that's all Hulk's parts. Um, you can see, like, from his legs or so. It doesn't look like that's it's that hard to snap on. But before, we're actually going to do Hulk last. For now, we'll do the last figure. Now, this one's also, now, this one has been released with other figures before. This is, like, a new version of him. It's the figure that hasn't had a piece, but he feels cool. It's War Machine. Like, from the beginning of the film, like, he looks like a huge guy. He looks like a War Machine Hulkbuster, almost. But, you know, the famous character War Machine from Infinity War and, um, Endgame, at least that's what I saw. I think it was in Iron Man 2, but I don't know if I saw that film. I like this guy. This guy might be my favorite out of all of them, except for a few. He looks very cool. He, they did a great job on him. He has like a little things here, but yeah. This guy actually reminds me of that 
Marvel door figure years ago that was like a shield box or whatever. But yeah, um, I think this weapon is the weapon that's supposed to go on. If you look right here, there's like a little piece right here that's supposed to sort of go through. Or like right here, you can sort of see like a little hole. Yeah, I think this is supposed to go into it. Yeah. yeah. There. Here it is. That's right. See what you think. You don't think I'm going to do. Hmm. But yeah, this guy looks very, very cool. He actually might be one of my favorites. I don't know why. They just did a very good job job on him. Just like the uh, Captain America with the suit. They did a very good job on him. Without, uh, you know, uh, he comes with two very big bla um, blaster guns. You can't, you can't, there's no, there's really no space where you can hold them like, um, oh, he has a fist, so he can only hold one. Well, you know, like, he has a fist on one hand and it's sort of like a grabby hand on the other one. But, also, the guns are exactly the same, to be honest, just for like, yeah, the guns are exactly the same. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's War Machine. War Machine, definitely, I think they did a lot of good job. Great paint job, great design, great articulation. All these figures have great paint jobs, great articulation. No complaints about them at all. They're very good. The only complaint I have is they probably should have done maybe like, I don't know, like maybe more movie guys. Like, you know, like they have Rescue War Machine. They could, they could have, you know, like instead of like Union Jack, they could have done, uh, like maybe another figure with the, um, from the movie or something. I don't know. Like maybe Thanos' minion or something. Everything's good though. Now actually, I'll also have. Now I'm, I'm going to put Hulk together. While I put Hulk together, I'm going to tell you guys something. But currently, while I was, um, before I, right before I made this video, my dad was searching up some Marvel guys. There's like an 80th anniversary toys that are coming out, uh, and you know, like they um, from the Avengers Infinity War movie, I believe Endgame two, yeah, Endgame two. They had the Black Order, but Infinity War was like I think more where they were actually shown. There were these three figures in the first in Infinity War build a figure of Thanos. They had um, they had like the the girl like the leader I think or so I forgot what her name was. No, I remember Proxima and Midnight. Then there was like a second Endgame build a figure with Cole Obsidian. Then the third, the Avengers Endgame, I mean, not third, first Avengers Endgame, the other figure I showed you guys, like, a month ago or so, I think two or so, um, they had, um, Ebony Ma, and that was actually gonna be a two-pack with the Loki from Infinity War, like, Loki from the movie, and also, um, and the last one, I forgot what his name was, it was, I don't know, it was Cal something, C-A-L, then something else, I forgot, I forgot his name, but... Yeah, start off with that or something. But yeah, so here's his legs. He also has a Hulk build figure too. It's the Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok when Thor Ragnarok came out. I like that too. I don't know which one. I, I don't know which one I like more. Hmm. There. His, his, his legs and arms are actually hard, hard to get on. A lot of these figures sometimes have hard stuff to get on. Um, here's his other hand. So, there we go. Snaps on very easily. I gotta be honest with you, I really like these figures. Three, um, these figures. Yeah. I think it was a smart decision to do the Intelligent Hulk next. Like, I don't know, they could, they could have done, like, maybe Thanos' Minion or some other guy, some other person they ever released. But I really thought that, um, the Intelligent Hulk would have been cool. Um, I'm also glad they have two heads. They have a smiley head and a frowny head. Like I said, that's like the only choice you really get. Like, you have to put on the body and the arms, like. I'm gonna choose Smiley Head. I don't know why, I just think it looks better with it. Also, you saw the end of the movie. He looks like the Wiggle Hulk. Dude, there we go. Wow, he's actually very easy to snap on. Easier than the Thanos one, I believe. This is him. Now, he looks very good. When you snap him all together, he, you know he looks just like the Intelligent Hulk from the film. They did a very good job on him. He has, like, a lot of veins. They had a great texture pattern. They had great things. So overall, all these figures are pretty good. They all have all these figures, even including the bow figure, have great um, have great paint jobs. They have very good articulation for good action figures. I guess you can also pose them a lot as well. They have some good weapons. Not a lot of them come with many weapons, but yeah, pretty cool. I would still recommend getting them all. War Machine's my favorite. I, even though he doesn't come with a piece, I still think he's worth it to buy. I'm sure all of you guys still love Rescue. She's my favorite too, but that's because she's like the newest figure. I really want to get a figure of her when I first saw her too. That sounds so hype. But yeah, I hope you guys um, like liked this. Next week, like I said, I'm going to do the Multiman build a figure. So please, uh, hopefully all you are hyped already. So you can type in the comments how hyped you are. So um, for for the Spider-Man Multiman build a figure, like I said, I already, have, I already got two of those. And yeah, that's currently it. I
Jeff, I would still recommend getting the Intelligent Hulk figure, even though he, he still looks like the same Hulk. He still, he still does have some differences. That's all I want to say. See you guys next time. Bye.